there's an update in Magic Buttons 26A, create a child record, save it, and then immediately put yourself on it and edit record so that it will actually uh, create the record, give you the record ID so you can do something with it later. We had a request in a webinar recently where they want this button to be on a report and that's why I'm looking at a project report. And in a second, we'll go in and take a look at that button. But as, as you can see, we've added a field school and category. So if I um, click on this button, what it does is it takes us over and creates a document and fills out the field for school and category down here. Now, that doesn't look too exciting right now. But if you'll notice up here, this is the record ID of this record. So it actually filled this out and put us back on the record, kind of like a save and keep working kind of thing. But now you've got the benefit of a record ID. So if you have a button, it already knows what to do um, because it, it knows its identity. So um, let's go back and uh, take a look at where what this button actually looks like. So you can select any one of the projects here. And as you scroll down, 26 is down here, right here, 26. And you can see there's a field called school and one that's called category. Um, these can be anything and they're just populated here. But this button, we need to pass this information over to a child table. And uh, so let's open this up again. So here we've got the uh, URL. It's going to call a DB page it's there called create child save and edit.html and it now has to define a couple of things like the target dbid which is the destination of where we're going when we get there we want to link back to this parent record and that's what this is so we, we've created a variable called reference field that's field 13. now that's a hard-coded number that we know about so We've looked for the reference in that child table and we'll use that reference ID. This is the record ID of the parent that we're from, the child, the project level in this example. And uh, that is the record ID. So we're passing these, these things over, like category and school, are also taking whatever the field values are, passing them. We're creating variables and we're passing them over, over to here. Now, the fact that we're passing variables, we're, we're putting them in the URL. Uh, up above, you'll see them and um, RID equals this and school equals this and category equals this. What we need to do is strip that stuff out and use it when we process it. So let's um, exit out of here, um, go back to the home page, go into settings, and we'll look at the page, the DB page. It's down here, create, um, child, save, and edit. So we're going to click on this. Okay, this is uh, uh, the, the page that does the magic. The very first thing on load, um, on open, um, this actually calls our, our host name. Um, the target DBID, where did this come from? Where did the reference field come from? The app token and the, uh, or excuse me, and the app token over here. Um, when we read this, this script actually reads the URL and is looking for named value pairs separated by the ampersand like that. Like in construction, I, uh, rec uh, and this construct is the same thing as create a variable. Um, record ID, it's looking at the URL parameters uh, up above here. Get whatever is designated as record ID get whatever is indicated as app token and put it into a variable called app token. Target DB, same thing. Reference ID, same thing. Um, here, the, the school um, value, look for the school in that URL and put it into the value of school as a local variable here. So now, let's, now that we have all that stuff, let's talk about this again. We create the record down below here we're putting in the values into these fields. Um, what happens up above is yeah, up here. After that's created, we're going to get an XML page back. And we're looking at the, um, the XML for you know, success. We, we have this um, success value that, the, that it happened. 
But what this is going to do is it's redirecting to the location and look at we're rebuilding the thing the target dbid we're going to be in edit record mode and the record is equal to the response gotten here by the record id uh, which is that the the first um, iteration of that and so um, once again we're creating it and then we're digesting the response and then we're redirecting back to this page the uh, targeted desire was to actually show how you could add extra variables like school and category and add them. So you could add as many of these as you want to. Just send them over in the button and uh, QuickBase will um, pull them apart. And you can, of course, use them downstream in whatever your use case is.